Hi, welcome to my studio. Uh, my name is Sok Fong. I've been using this place, setting up my studio here in Emily Hill for the past 10 years, 12 years. Um, yeah, it's a place that provides a lot of uh, space, opportunity, and also a platform for the artists, art lover, and even business people to come and to get to know us and to get to know us. All this while, I like to do casting, casting of work, casting of glass, putting things inside the glass. I've um, been doing that for quite some years. Uh, but quite recently, uh, for the past 3-4 years, uh, I think I started to feel that I might not just want to do put things in the glass, but let the glass stack on and make more things. And I came out with this series called the Equilibrium. And um, it's a mixture of stones and glass. Various types of stones put together and to go with glass. Uh, at this moment, I'm still playing with, with the, the external part of it. That means I'm not putting the stone in the glass, but it's putting the stone together with the glass uh, and create this uh, more sculptural form uh, of art pieces. Sometimes I wonder why I like glass. I think I get very fascinated by the light that goes into the glass. I enjoy it reflects the light. And sometimes some of the glass, uh, we call it the uh, opalescent glass, that you actually retain some lights inside. Um, I get very fascinated and that's how I was, I was uh, attracted to the material. As I work with them, work with the material a bit more, uh, then I started to get even ex more excited because I realized that I'm not the one to control you know, the final result. I'm not the only one. Uh, so my partner will be the heat. La. You know, so you, you put many layers and put inside the kiln to fire. Uh, you, you can put them in different shapes, different size, different angle. Once you put inside the kiln, you close the lid. You can't do anything to it. The heat take over. But I guess it's through experience. You kind of like override it a little bit better. You can control it a bit um, easier. So when the result comes out, uh, it's very close to what you want. Actually, the initial was trying just to be fancy. Yeah. But as I do, I started to like it. And, and I, I like to put the Chinese poems, uh, Chinese words, like I did one big piece of glass, which is 1.2 meter in length and the uh, thickness is about 30, uh, about 30 mm. Uh, I put down there, Qing Zhou Yi Guo Wan Chong San. So very immediate, the most people who are, have read about Li Bai's poem, they will know what does it mean. Um, in Chinese choreography, it always the flow of the words are very nice and in Chinese poem it has a deeper meaning than just talking about the flower, the tree, the nature. It has a deeper meaning into it. And I like this kind of uh, uh, relation to have that in my work because uh, I'm a Chinese act and uh, I like this chi Chinese poem and my most uh, favorite uh, poet is uh, Li Bai. I like the way he, he writes his Chinese, uh, he, he writes his poem. So I, I, I like that, uh, the Kwa Ta So Fa, you know, this kind of thing. Um, as an artist, I think we need that. We need to have that to, to enlarge certain small things or to um, go very deep in one small point. Um, I feel that is the nature of being an artist. You see what others don't see. You feel what others don't feel. And you are more sensitive to the nature and to the environment and to the world at large. You make noise, you write, you create, you know. So, yeah, I mean, if you, you, are, you take this role, then just be natural about it and be sensitive to what you have. For casting of glass, uh, most of the time we put layers and layers together like this you know stack on each other and then put inside the kiln and fire and that's basically that's casting but I took one more step uh, by putting layers and layers of glass I also put things inside 
um, I can put little things like wire, stones. Well, of course, the stone is small piece, lah. Stones, wire, uh, metals, and also sometimes I use different color. I shape the glass using the torch work, and I put into it. So it'll be one layer, two layer, and I even put Chinese uh, words on it. Uh, sometimes I will get my friend to help me to write very nice Chinese calligraphy words. Sometimes I will struggle on myself to do it. Um, once that, you put inside the kiln to fire. After firing the glass, you take out. Then you do the second layer. So casting is not just put it in and leave it for a couple of hours. It's actually you have to plan which one comes in first, which one comes in later. And what need to be on top and what need to be in the bottom. So I've been doing this for a couple of years. Uh, I enjoyed it, you know, because like if you put um, uh, blue with another layer, so the color is actually overlap. And with the lights, it actually create a different kind of shadows, a color shadows. So that was casting that I, uh, I've been doing. And uh, it can create stories, like uh, one of the exhibition that I did in Taiwan, 2013. Um, I actually did a lot of that. Um, they have, I create kangaroo, eh, no sorry, uh, giraffe, um, other animals like penguins and all that, you know, inside that. Um, yeah, so that was major casting work that I do. Then as year goes by, I find that I might want to still maintaining the layering, but I want to bring it out a little bit to make it a bit more vertical um, to explore Instead of doing it most of the time horizontal in landscape form, I wanted to do more portrait. So I started to put a uh, simple glass, uh, just uh, not using color. That means uh, challenge it in that way. So I actually stack glass on each other like this. And then I actually work in different layers and, and make it more 3D. Um, after exploring that, I realized I wanted a bit more, you know. So, and I also started to take a look at my notes that what I have write about glass and stones. For stones, um, marble and, and they are all fundamental between both. These two are the sand. So the glass also have sand in it. Um, fire to a high temperature become glass. And stones is over time, because of the sand that is stack over years and years and years, it become rock, it become like stones, you know, with layers of things on it. So these two things, I find that they have this common factor, which is sand. And I wanted to show that um, once is because of the timing, years, the other one is heat, it become glass like a man-made material. But the other one, because of time, it become into like thick rocks like that. So by putting these two together, um, I want to try and see the, how both can be balanced. So that's how I actually started to do these two things together. Well, the Ng Teng Fong Hospital project um, is commissioned by uh, the hospital to do uh, an artwork to symbolize the, the support, to symbolize the community integrated hospital. So it's my honor to, to work with the team uh, in the hospital and I enjoy the, the working relationship. Uh, although this is not my first commission work, I have done a few, but it is something quite special to me because I get to work not just glass but with metal and and you need to be in, put in the hospital, which I have to look into more safety issue and all that. So it's a, a bit of a challenge, but uh, we done it and it was very well reserved, uh, received. And um, I think the part of uh, putting colored glass and putting in front of uh, such a lobby hall that so many people walk past, you need to be... Uh, Need to be striking. You need to be attractive enough so people at least will look up and see. The making of pativa is actually very interesting. Everybody was wondering, uh, how thin can the glass be? 
It can be as thin as paper. That's why it's called patella. It's very thin. You can see, you know, you can even bite it if you want to, but no. Um, yeah, it's very thin like paper. So how does this thing come about? Is actually first you have to have this gigantic mold, right? And you actually have to pound the glass into very, very thin paste like this. And then you put the disc into this big mold. And after that, you use water. The water you have to mix with a little bit of glue, white glue, just a bit, All right? And then you pat it along side on this mold and you put in the kiln to fire. But the ultimate, ultimate result you want is a very thin paste, I mean thin layer of glass. It can make it into very huge. So I'm starting it with a, a very small piece of dishes that I make first. And I will proceed even more because um, you can actually pat not just glass, you can pat stone, you can pat um, sand, and even like copper, aluminium, any other metals or, or, or stones and things like that, you can pack together and to form this vessel that you want. The process is very slow and it allows you to think it through how and what you want to do. All right, so uh, yeah, this is one of my, my latest uh, adventure I'm going to go with. Um, I don't know what will be the final result but I think it's fun. I enjoy doing community work. Uh, that allows me to reach out to more people, to share with them this material glass. Uh, recently I have done a few. For example, in 2015, I did the uh, community work with uh, Sea Game. Uh, we do the Torch Up project. I also did some project recently with uh, MCCY, the Bicentenon project uh, and also students that come to my studio here to work with me uh, and after that will be exhibiting their work like the Equilibrium project. I work with the Tomasic Poly student. They, they are not art student but uh, they are science student actually but through working with me they explore this material glass and then they integrate that into their, stud uh, their study and use that to create uh, installation work and it was exhibited in their gallery. I think that is very interesting because it allows students to, during their school time, get to meet this material glass. I think it's very fun and I enjoy doing such projects. I enjoy the making of glass with stones and I really hope that in the future I can make bigger piece of work. How big? You can start from table size, 50 cm, 100 cm and maybe even become a very big iconic pieces in front of a building combining stone and glass and um, I think I, I'll be very happy then that at least is one of my wish that I, I hope that you will accomplish soon. Mm -hmm.